Papua New Guinea's coffee industry is worth over 900 million kina and continues to grow. Markets in Europe and other parts want PNG coffee. Because of this sustainable growth, Swire Shipping is setting up a coffee bulking facility in Leh. Swire's country manager Randy Selvaratnam says having the whole operation on the wharf will be effective. He describes the move as adding value to the company. It reduces a number of handling moves for our customers as well as the integrity of the cargo is maintained by, by the process of not having to move it several times. Uh, you know, if it's packed outside the wharf, you have at least one more transport move to be bringing it into the wharf, etc. The shipping company has created an area on the wharf for coffee industry corporation personnel to run quality assurance checks and quarantine coffee beans. And then export it to overseas buyers who will receive the coffee on time with a higher quality. That means better prices will be paid for the coffee beans. It's a one-stop shop. Swire's own uh, vessels and they will do also the uh, freight forwarding handling of coffee the documentation. So it's a one-stop shop. It's an advantage. Coffee Industry Corporation Acting Chief Executive Officer Charles Dambui says the move by Swire will help Papua New Guinea's coffee export. We are now promoting Trito Cup marketing strategy, which means uh, when you produce a quality on farm, just to deliver on time, uh, the same quality, uh, the same specimen that is required by our uh, buyers overseas. And opening of facilities like this give an advantage. The Papua New Guinea coffee industry expects a surge in the amount of coffee beans coming from the highlands in 2016. PNG Coffee Exports Managing Director John Edwards says the facility will help that surge. In 2016, we expect a, a bigger crop. The trees are looking healthy. We've had drought and stress, so we're expecting an increased volume. Bethany Harriman, National MTV News, Leigh.